Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about how to add, subtract, and solve radical equations. Now, as you know, with radical equations, they have square roots, cube roots, etc., but at least one radical, sometimes uh, more than one. So uh, let's do a quick example, and you'll see how this works. Now, suppose you have 4 minus the square root of 3x plus 5 equal to 0. Now, one thing that you will always want to consider when it comes to solving radical equations is if you have a you want to get the radical by itself no matter what. So if you have one radical, you want to get that one radical on its own. Even if you have two radicals, you want to get one of the radicals by itself. You know, the, less the less radicals you have on one side, the better. And you always want to solve the, each radical equation one radical at a time. So in this particular case, let's go ahead and, for example, add this radical over to the other side. So what you have here is 4 is equal to, this cancels, you have square root of 3x plus 5. Now, since you have a square root here isolated, you want to get rid of this square root by squaring both sides. If this was a cube root, you would cube both sides. So we're squaring both sides. 4 squared is 16. Squ square root of 3x plus 5 squared. The radical and the square cancel, you have 3x plus 5. And then what you have is a really nice equation, and you solve for x, subtract 5. So you have 11 equals to 3x, and then divide both sides by 3. And so x is going to give you 11 thirds. So after you find your answer, you generally want to check it and to be sure that everything matches. And I think in this particular case, if you were to check it, it should work out. So as long as you isolate one radical at a time and solve it, you should be good to go overall. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's a brief glimpse on how to add, subtract, and solve radical equations. <laughs>